core training and how it is actually job security for us at Sterling Structural Therapy. Let me give you the how and why. Core training, traditional core training refers to mostly this kind of training, right? Most people will tell me core training, they're thinking of their abdominals, of the front of their body. And the exercises that we do for those traditionally are sit-ups, V-ups, roll-ups, leg lifts, all these combinations of bringing the spine, the whole torso to the leg or the leg to the torso. That A does not work your core, but what it does is again, job security for us. And how is that? Anatomy. This is not my opinion, this is a fact. So there is no abdominal muscles that attaches onto your leg bones. So how on earth is lifting my legs doing a V-up or bringing my torso up to my legs like a sit-up, working my abdominals. It doesn't, but what it does work, that is a part of the problem. Say hello to psoas major. And this muscle actually converges with this muscle over here called iliacus, and it's called iliopsoas put together. So it affects your whole spine and your pelvis. You can see that they cut here on this model, but what actually happens inside of you, the way this is designed is this muscle attaches to every single lumbar vertebra at the side of the vertebra, at the vertebral body, and it actually has attachment points to your discs. And this is the point where I'm hoping I'm starting to scare you a little bit. It attaches to your spinal discs and vertebra, and it attaches to your groin, to the leg bone. This is the main muscle that can lift your leg up to your spine or your spine up to your leg. The problem with this is when you do that, you create sheer force through the lumbar spine, okay? And I want you to think back of maybe phys ed, old school phys ed, when someone asks you to do uh, as many sit-ups as possible in a minute, and think back to where you actually felt the burn. Most people will feel the burn in their low back and a little bit in the front here, exactly what's actually working. They might feel a little burn in their abdominals, but that's secondary. The main amount of work is being done over here, and that is a problem because that sheer force through the spine. Our vertebra do a very good job of bending, twisting, they like this kind of stuff. What we don't want for our vertebra is shear, which is sliding one off of another, and that is the kind of force that is created on the inside via this muscle. So when I go to the gym, I have to put my blinders on because when I see people doing leg lifts and sit-ups, I picture them getting punched on the inside of their spine via their own muscle. So I would say, please, please don't do this. I'm gonna give you one other reason because maybe you're going, well, fine. I wanna strengthen those hip flexors. Why not? So I'm going to invite Sterling Structural Therapist Cody Williams, and I'm gonna have him sit right over here off the edge of the table because what I wanna point out, sit all the way back, Cody, even if your feet are not supported, there we go. So I want you to look at this angle over here, right? So this is actually how we spend the majority of our day. We drive to go places, we sit to work, we sit to relax, we sit to eat. A heck of a lot of sitting is happening in the everyday life. So if this, is the position that you are spending the majority of your day, does it make any sense to then go to the gym and Cody start to do some leg lifts over there, right? Kind of this kind of stuff. Can you actually see that his head is going forward as he's doing that? Think of the posture that we're promoting and the stress through the spine, right? So let's let that go, good. So there are two reasons this kind of core training doesn't benefit you at all, job security for us. One, mechanically speaking, the muscles are pulling you out of alignment. The other one is you're promoting even more spine flexion and creating more of this kind of posture that is basically faulty posture that puts a tremendous amount of load on your spine. So if you're interested in how to actually work your core in a way that benefits your spine, come on down and see us.